Yo, what is going on guys? It's the Pro Bartlett here, I'm bringing you guys another Black Ops 3 gameplay for you guys um, using the Man of War. Um, it's an assault rifle, it's really freaking good. Um, I don't think it's the best in the game, I didn't get to play with all of them, but it's super freaking good. Um, it has uh, high damage, so it just shreds through people, but it also has a low fire rate. Which, um, at times, can make you lose gunfights, and at times it's not, um, very good, but the high damage definitely makes up for it. I believe I had, um, I had Red Dot on it, obviously, but I think I had Quick Draw and Suppressor, or not Suppressor, um, excuse me, Quick Draw and Stock, or I may have just had Quick Draw on it, I'm not too sure, I recorded this, like, one of the first games I got in the beta. This is Domination. Uh, I don't know exactly what this map's called, but uh, this map is very annoying. There's a lot of um, a lot of different ways you can move around the map, and that's really why I don't like Advanced Warfare at all because there's so many ways you can get from you know point A to point B. Uh, this map has a lot of different ways you can um, get to a certain area, but um, this is Domination. I think I already said that. I go 45 and 5, so it's pretty good. I was using, uh, as far as the kill streaks, I was using the UAV, the care package, and the health storm. I usually don't use care package, but I figured it would be a very good idea to use it because I knew I wasn't gonna have a lot of time to play the beta. So with the care package, I would be able to play or at least use more kill streaks instead of having to, you know, grind out and unlock all of them and use the tokens to to use them, and then I might not even get them, you know. So I figured I would just use the care package just to see if I can get some really good kill streaks. And I did get the wraps, the rasp. I think it's R A S P or R A P S. It's really good. It deploys like these big wheels, like four or five of these wheels, and they and they go and search for enemies to kill. It's really freaking good. Um, I actually enjoy it a lot. I think I got like six or seven kills with it. So um, as far as the perks of using six cents, uh, which I think is a very 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 good perk I don't think it's overpowered though a lot of people are saying it is overpowered I personally don't think it is just because it takes a whole it takes a really some adjustments and getting used to to be able to use six sense because what six sense does is when an enemy is near you your mini map will blink in the direction that they are and so if they're running and like going left to right up and down your whole mini map will be a huge distraction will start blinking everywhere and a lot of times it has killed me because I'm like oh god you know is he up is he down is he left right is he underneath me I don't, I don't know so um, it's it, it, it's a good perk for some situations for a lot of situations it will get you killed but I enjoy the perk I didn't have ghost like really the only other good perks that are in the game of flight jacket and ghost and you don't really die from explosions too often in this game. And look at me just slaying people with the sparrow. But um, you don't usually die from explosives. So if you're gonna die from explosives, it's gonna be like a regular grenade. Um, nobody was using I nobody used C4 on me um, throughout the whole beta. I don't think C4 is good in this game anyway. So um, then there's another uh, like it's like a landmine thing. It's kind of like a claymore, and it's super, super easy to detect them and see them on the map. And I don't even think they explode on impact. I think it takes like a second or two for it to activate. So, um, flat jacket's not really like a like a need or a must. And then ghost. I mean, ghost is always good. It's freaking ghost, you know. But um, the other perks I was using, I think I was using just uh, fast hands. It's like the only good green perk. Um, and then I may have been using Blast Suppressor and Gung Ho. Not entirely sure. I probably do have Blast Suppressor on. Once I unlocked it, I remember putting it on all my classes. And Gung Ho is really good too because you can hit fire um, while you sprint. Um, which is surprisingly very good because in the beta at least, uh, getting headshots was like, like, if you get one bullet to the head, it's like an instant kill. And Gung Ho. <laughs> like Gunko made it to where you could do that fairly easy. But um hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. This is the last Black Ops 3 gameplay I will be uploading. I didn't get very many gameplays. 
Um, I do have one other Black Ops 3 video I will be posting, but it's not a gameplay, it's just a really epic clip. Um, so that brings me into the rest of the video where I want to discuss with you guys. So Black Ops 3 doesn't come out until November 6th. And it's, it's September, what's the day, the 6th? The 7th. The, the September 7th. So we got literally about all, basically two months. 59 days, whatever you want, where, whatever you want to look at it, but um, however you want to look at it, 59 days, 60 days, whatever, two months, it's basically two months. I don't know what to upload for those two months. I have no idea what kind of content I want to upload. I was going to upload Heroes of the Storm, but I'm still very new to the game, I'm still like, you know, adjusting to it, I'm still um, um, getting used to all the different characters uh, and the builds. I was gonna make montages and like clips of the of like all my Heroes of the Storm games, but I figured that would be annoying because I'll have to try it and test it out. But like I already lag, like here lately I've been lagging a lot in Heroes of the Storm. And I feel like OBS is just gonna make me lag even more, so I'm not sure if that's gonna work. But what what kind of games do you guys want to see? Um, I, I don't know like. I was gonna do playthroughs of certain games that I wanted to play, but I don't I don't think it'd be fun and entertaining. Um, I'm thinking of just playing certain games that I want to play and just only uploading the boss battles. I, I'm not too sure what I want to do with this channel, so let me know in the comments below what kind of content you guys like to see. Because I am at I have I'm having a writer's block. I have no freaking idea um, of what to upload. So. so Give me some suggestions in the comment section below. That would be awesome of you guys. Um, I could play more Pokemon. I could do another playthrough of Pokemon. I have my randomizer working. I can randomize any Pokemon game. Literally, I can randomize any Pokemon game except for X and Y and Omega Ruby and stuff. Like that. Um, I could play some fan-made Pokemon games. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what kind of content you guys want to see. Uh, I'll probably continue to do um, Celestial Tales, but, um, anyway, this is for the gameplay, I didn't really have much to say, I didn't really have much to talk about, it's been a while since I uploaded, it's been like a week, and, uh, now I don't even know what to upload. Thank you guys for watching, if you could, hit that subscribe button, I've almost completed my first goal of 10 subscribers, I have 9 so far, so one more subscriber, and I'll have 10, which is freaking awesome. Uh, also, if you could give the video a like, that would be really cool too, because it will help the channel grow and more people will be able to see my video. But um, thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Excellent work. Headed to Exville. Drinks are on me.